Hi, welcome to another tutorial on my channel, Blenny Alors. I'll be teaching you how to make this pinafore gown. I'm so excited to show you how I made this pinafore gown. Please, if you are new to my channel, I post videos every week. So please click on the subscribe button if you have not clicked on the subscribe button. And please turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. And please give my video a thumbs up and also drop your comment in the comment section. You can also share the link with your loved ones. So we'll go straight to the drafting of this pinafore gown. So this is my pattern paper. So um, at the, the first line at the top is the shoulder line. So at the line that I'm drawing now is the waistline. So I measured 16. So if you want your pleat to, to be a little bit higher than mine, you can make yours 15. So it all depends on your client. So I measured 16 there. So we'll go straight to the shoulder line. The shoulder line. So we're going to measure the shoulder divided by two, and which gives me seven. It gave me seven. So I'll go ahead and mark the shoulder. Then after marking the shoulder, I'm just going to uh, draw a uh, mark a shoulder slope. Then I'm going to slope it down to meet the neckline. So the next thing to do is to mark out the neck neck circumference. So I'll be using three and half, three and half for the neck circumference. Then the depth is going, going to be four. So if you want yours to be lower than that, you can make use of five inches, six inches. But once it gets to seven inches, that means it's going to and be very very deep it's going to be very deep so it depends on you just explore your creativity so i'll go ahead and use four inch then i'm going to shape it out so at that point of angle 90 i'm just going to measure one inch and it will help me curve it since i'm using free hand so the next thing to do is to go to the uh, waistline so i'm going to divide my waist circumference by four so after dividing it by four, and then whatever inches it gives to me, I'm going to divide that inches by two again. If, for instance, my waist measurement is eight and I divided it by four, it gave me seven. I'm going to divide the seven into two, which is three inches. So you go ahead and mark three inches at that point, at the waist point there, as I did to mine. So that will be basically all for the drafting of the front pattern. So I place the front pattern on the back pattern so i'm going to use the front pattern to cut the back pattern the difference between the front and the back pattern is the depth the neck depth so the back pattern will be a little bit higher than the front pattern so i'm using two inch for the back uh, neckline depth so i'll just go ahead and shape my the neckline then i'll cut off the back pattern that will be all for the drafting of the uh, upper part of this pinafore gown so you can decide to make your pinafore a straight gown and but mine this is a, a gathered gown so you can decide to make it a straight gown it all depends on you so just drafting your your straight your skirts your busy skirt pattern and attaching it to this upper part of it that just the difference so this is the pattern I'm going to use to cut out our fabric. Place your pattern on a folded fabric as shown in the video. I folded the fabric into two. So you go ahead and cut out using your pattern. The same way you are going to cut the back bodies on fold. Same way you cut the front, that same way you cut the back. I'm going to use same fabric as lining for my front bodies like I did here can see that it's two that's for the front i'm going to use the same fabric for lining and and the main fabric then also for the back i'm going to cut lining for the back so i'll go ahead and sew the neckline go ahead and sew the neckline this is the lining for the back so i'll sew the neckline and i'm going to show you what next to do all right so i've done that i forgot to tell you that i also canvas my 
fabric that's why you can see that it's white so i've sewn the neck and have i went ahead to notch it as i showed you in the video so i i've torn it and i've given it a good press so you can see how neat it is so the next thing to do is to join the shoulder so i'm going going to show you how to join the shoulder neatly place the front and the back right side facing right side then flip it over lining to lining as shown in the video lining to lining fabric main fabric to main fabric ensure they meet at the middle at the midpoint then lay it straight as shown in the video then go ahead to your sewing machine and sew it straight I've done that and it is very neat. So I'm going to show you how it looks inside. It is very neat. You can see how neatly it looks. So you can go ahead and give it a good press so that it can lay flat on the shoulder. So I've done that and it is really looking beautiful. So we want to con we want to conceal the rough edges. We want to sew this um, side now so you can see how i did it on the video i flip it over please follow the video and i counted one two three and the fourth one i picked the fabric so please I, I hope you understand what i just did if you do not understand you can go back to the video again and see how i flipped it over i flipped it over and i counted one starting from the first one I hold, then the fourth one, then I grab the fourth and the first one. Then that's how I conceal the other ones inside. Then I'll go ahead and sew it. Ensure that you do not sew the remaining two that are inside along with this number one and number four. So I've done that and I've turned it. So the next thing to do, if you don't understand the first part of it, just go ahead and watch this part also again. You see how I folded it. So I'll go ahead and so it's straight ensure you do not sew the fabric that you pushed inside alongside with the first and the last um, fabric so side of the dress you can see how i did it so follow the video and you will do it perfectly so i'm through with it and i just want to turn it out i just want to show you how i turn it out this is how it looks so I'm going to bring out the fabric that I concealed or pushed inside. I'm going to bring it out. So after turning it, this is how it looks. So the next thing to do is to divide your waist measurement by two, then cut out your band of four inches folded into two. So uh, you place your front bodies or and your back bodies, then you notch it at the mid point, at the middle point point then also the band i told you four inches for the front four inches for the back we are going to fold it into to making it uh, two inches so you fold it into two then you notch the middle so the back also has its own four inches folded into two you are going to slit it into two which is two two inch each as we go on, on in the video you are going to understand what i meant look at it <coughs> excuse me the first uh, two inches so i told you to notch it at the middle so at the middle of each we are going to place it the middle point of the band we are going to place it at the middle point of the front or the back bodies look at how i'm doing it please watch carefully i'm just going to go ahead and pin it and i also iron interfacing on my um band so you can see how it is this this is just for just one part of it that's this for the front bodies. So you are going to cut also like this for the back bodies. So I'll go to my sewing machine. I'm going to sew it straight at where I pinned. Then I'll also do that to the back. Ensure you also notch the midpoint of the back part of it. You can see how I folded my needle too. So I'm through attaching the, the band to the upper part of the dress. You can go ahead and draft your basic um, skirt pattern and attach it to the bottom but now mine is gather so we are going to measure our shoulder down to where the band stops and we are going to use the other measurement to cut our 
gather the remaining fabric for our gather so if your gown is 40 inches you are just going to measure the length from the shoulder down to the band then you minus it from the uh, length then you use it to cut the uh, straight fabric for plinting gather or to draft your skirt so i've done that i've done that so i'm just going to pleat it on the waistband so i'm going to pleat it on the wrong side that's on the wrong side of the dress on one side of the band R right wrong side facing wrong side please i made a little mistake here wrong side facing wrong side look at it after sewing you can see that it is wrong side facing wrong side like i told you i sewed it on the wrong side of the fabric you can see how it is i sewed it on the wrong side of the fabric so wrong side facing wrong side and you can see that i lay my band flat i didn't lay it i didn't sew it on the two band once so you can see when you flip it to the right side you can see that it is very rough so we are going to take the other side of the band and use it to conceal this rough edges so that our gown will be neat inside and outside so you go ahead and fold it and use it to conceal the rough edges down go ahead and fold quarter an inch and use it to conceal the rough edge inside and that you also do that to the back, front part of you do it to the both side back and front and that will be all for attaching the band i'm done sewing the band and this is the front and the back part of the dress you can see how neat it looks so the next thing to do is to join the waist using your seam allowance then at one side of the waist you are just going to leave seven inches then you you can um sew it down so the seven inches we left there is for zipper so you can attach your zipper to it and i think that is basically all for the dress and you can see our dress is ready i've attached my zipper and i've sewed the other side so if you are new to my channel please or you have not subscribed please subscribe i have a wonderful tutorial next please stay tuned to my channel and give my video a thumbs up follow me on instagram blending our